Good morning. So good to see you today. I wanted to come by and just share a little bit about what's been going on lately. First of all, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Tabitha King, and I am an ordained minister and pastoral counselor. I am also a massage therapist, and I like to focus on my goal. My goal in life is basically to pray for our world and seek for God's help for the healing in our land. So that is what I am hoping and trusting that God will do in this season. Now, if you subscribe to my page and comment on the post, then you will also be able to be entered into a drawing um, for a gift that I will give out at the end of the month. So I would love your subscriptions. If you like what you see here, please feel free to subscribe and comment in the post. In the post, sorry. Um, so as far as what I wanted to talk about today, I wanted to share about my blog series that I just finished writing. It is about seven shocking facts about studying the Bible. Now, I love to teach about studying the Bible because the Bible is actually a book that was written over 2,000 years ago, and it was made not just for the people of that day, but it's for every day, for this day, yesterday, and forever. So I feel as though it's necessary for us to learn more about God's word and understand who he is our creator made and who our creator made us to be. We are made in his image, so we must live as though we are made in his image, in his likeness. So why studying the Bible is so important? Now, I want to just share that the Bible is seamless. Our Bible is not just stories written by different people, but it all goes hand in hand with um, the fact that we find narratives, poetry, history, we find um, prophecies, mysteries, and, and the good news, and much more. And really thinking about the fact that all scripture was not just made from men's hands, but it was God-breathed, meaning it was inspired by God. And the fact that it was inspired by God, it's useful for teaching and it's use and it's and it teaches us what is true. And also it teaches us what's wrong and what's right in life. And um it helps us to know how to live in our daily lives. It corrects us when we're doing things wrong. And it also and God also uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. Now in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God, the Father, the Son, the Word, and the Spirit, they all were together at that time when they decided to create man in his own image. <clears throat> and God, when God spoke, it was so. So it's amazing that, you know, God has so much for us to know about him and how he made us. If God speaks then it's so. We need to learn how to use our voices to be heard in this world and make it known that we are confident, we are bold, and we are able to do anything God says we can do. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. If we just truly believe in our hearts and minds, we need to focus on the fact that God is and we are. So, we have to understand that the words that we speak out of our mouths, they're powerful. We need to understand that when we speak, we either speak life and death or we're speaking truth. And we need to understand and recognize that the positive words that come out of our mouths can reach more people than the negative. So when we're speaking negative, we're killing people. So we need to understand how to be more loving and more caring one to another. Also, the world was 
was bad after the fall of man. And God did so. So he knew that we needed to be redeemed back to him. So he brought us back to him through his son, Jesus Christ, who was in the beginning with him, but not in the flesh. He was the word. But when he became flesh, he became flesh because God used the Holy Spirit to indwell in Mary and became and that became our Christ like man and he was he he was born of a virgin and the holy spirit was uh what con- helped her to conceive so it's so different from how we are made and brought into this world but Jesus was pure when he came into this world so that we can have life and have it more abundantly and because Jesus was pure, when he lived on earth, he showed us how to live. He was our example for how to live in life. And so when Jesus um, came into this world and he lived for 33 years, but at the end of his life, he was crucified because man didn't understand that our king could be so humble and so lowly. They didn't understand how Jesus was here to show us how to live. We're not supposed to live uppity and feeling like we have to have um, money and rulers over us and all of that stuff. God is not about that. God is about showing us how to be humble, how to be living in life, reverence, reverencing him. And so Jesus came and he stood on that cross, even though he knew he could come down. He did it because he loved us so much. God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son so that we can have life. And when he perished on that cross, he had thorns on his head and he was pierced in his side and all the blood came out. All of his life was um, poured out onto the ground. He died, but in three days he got up. That is the most amazing good news I can tell you on this day. He got up from the grave so that we can have life. And because he got up, we have the Holy Spirit living within us. If you truly believe that God sent his son into this world, we have an opportunity to have the Holy Spirit living with us each and every day, reminding us of who we are and whose we are. We need to understand that God is God and God alone. Trust and believe him and know today that you are his. Also, Jesus, why do we believe this? We believe this because the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, cutting between our soul and spirit, between joints and marrow, and it exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. When we live realizing and recognizing that God shows us everything we need for this world in his word, it it has mysteries in it. But when we open our hearts to him and understand that he will give us all of the truth to those mysteries, if we just live in relationship with him, then can we know how powerful and how sharp it is. And it shows us all of our innermost desires and all of our deepest thoughts. When we learn how to lean on God and depend on him and not on our own thinking, then can we have life and have it more abundantly. In my life, I've done so much wrong. But the great thing is, when I accepted Christ into my life and invited him in, all of my sins were forgiven. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But it's when we accept Christ into our lives that our sins can be forgiven. He doesn't hold grudges against us. In fact, he is just and able to forgive us of all of our sins, our past and our future. Realizing and recognizes we're going to make mistakes along the journey, 
But if we give it over to Jesus, he will give us exactly what we need to make it in this life. Jesus didn't die for a few people, but he died for all who will choose him. If you choose him this day, he will accept you and he will take care of you in those moments where you have suffering. Understanding that when we suffer, we are to persevere with joy. Understanding that the joy that we have, the world didn't give it to us and the world can't take it away. So when we are living in this chaotic world that is around us, continue to have joy. Continue to know that God is God and that we don't have to worry about anything because we will have eternal life with him. We can have the peace that's, that surpasses all understanding. We may not understand what's going on in our lives, but if we trust and believe that God is God, he will give us exactly what we need for each day. Re realizing that we have our daily bread in his word. Amen. Because I know Jesus, I live each day knowing and believing I am free. And knowing I have I have life with him. While on earth we do have love, joy, and peace. Some people think that you don't have peace in this world, but it's not true. If you live with those limiting belie uh, beliefs, then you will stay in a place of, of pain and sorrow. But if you live with the belief that you have joy, you have peace, because it's already deep inside of you, you can have it each and every day of your life. No matter what comes your way, no weapon formed against you will prosper. God is, is able. We are able. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. How do I know him? By studying God's word, which is Jesus in the flesh, each and every day, I live digesting his flesh. It sounds interesting, but I eat his word every day. Oh, taste and see that the Lord God is good. Realizing and recognizing he is sweeter than honey. You can receive a great work and a great word from the Lord because he gives you everything you need for your daily living. Every day I am learning of him. Every day I know more about him and become more and more like him as I grow in his word. We're growing spiritually and we're nourished physically each and every day as we trust and believe in his word. I wanted to share that as you take part in God's word, he gives you everything that you need. I'm asking you now to just trust God and believe that he is God. If you have not yet accepted Christ in your, to your life, now is the appointed time. It's the acceptable time. Just take a few moments and just say, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me for all the wrongs that I've done. And then at that moment, God will accept you into his fold. He will accept you because you have accepted him. Trust and believe God is able. He will give you exactly what you need for your life. Take it one day at a time, realizing and recognizing no matter what, God is here for you, and so am I. I would love for you to join my community. If you are interested in joining my community, feel free to click on the link in the description. Also, I would love for you to read my seven day blog series that is in my on my website. And also you can find that in the description as well. And don't forget to subscribe and comment on the post. I'd love to see you around and in my community. So I look forward to hearing more from you. I pray that you are blessed from what I am sharing on today. And I pray that you will receive what is the truth and know that Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by him. So it is necessary for you to understand the need to trust and believe that God is God and he will take care of you in the midst of your struggles. Realize and recognize the need to hold on to his unchanging hands and know that God loves you and I do too. Have a blessed and awesome day. I look forward to hearing more from you. Please share in the comments and I look forward to sharing more with you as 
these days go on. Have a blessed day.